analysts at the Institute for the Study of War, ISW, have noted that due to the lack of capacity for a large-scale offensive in Ukraine, the Russian command resorts to periodic impulsive mechanized attacks that are costly for both the Russian forces and the Ukrainian defense forces. Russian forces carried out five mechanized attacks, ranging from platoon to battalion size in western Donetsk Oblast on the 29th and 30th of July. Analysts noted that these localized mechanized offensives likely reflect a projected Russian summer offensive. However, it is probable that Russian forces lack the broader operational capacity to launch a separate renewed offensive in Donetsk Oblast or elsewhere along the front line this summer. The ISW previously assessed that Russian forces are likely attempting to seize Kostyantinivka and cut the Volodya kostyantinivka T0524 highway, forcing Ukrainians to retreat from the area. The ISW has previously highlighted that Russian forces have struggled with conducting simultaneous large-scale offensives throughout the full-scale war, often resorting to staggered offensive operations across different front sectors. This approach involves decreasing activity on one front while increasing it on another. Throughout the summer, Russian troops have periodically launched platoon and company-sized mechanized assaults on the Lyman, Chasivyar and Avdivka fronts in Donetsk Oblast with a recent uptick in attacks to the west and southwest of the city of Donetsk. The Russian military command may perceive these intermittent mechanized assaults as sufficient to meet their revised, more modest goals for the summer of 2024 or as reflecting the current limitations of their forces. The command could be aiming to present these limited tactical gains, such as the potential severing of the Volodya kostyantinivka Highway as a significant victory to Russians, despite the general lack of public familiarity with this region. Additionally, the command might be driving the already depleted Russian forces in this area to push forward as far as possible before their combat effectiveness diminishes, regardless of the heavy losses sustained. The Russian military's apparent readiness to incur substantial armored vehicle losses without achieving operationally significant advances or launching a large-scale multi-directional offensive in western Donetsk Oblast is likely to strain its military capabilities in the long run. Analysts also pointed out that Russia's ongoing offensive operations are also costly for Ukraine's defenders and are likely to deteriorate Ukrainian capabilities through attrition, whether they achieve significant success or not. Шановні воїни, шановні наші бійці, наші солдати, сержанти, офіцери, малові генерали, маю честь сьогодні бути тут, в цей важливий день для нашої держави, ваш день, привітати вас днем Сил спеціальних операцій Збройних сил України. Хочу вам подякувати за вашу можність, за все, що ви робите, ви ваші побратими, і подякувати вам, поважати здоров'я вам, вашим рідним поважати як найменші втрати, найбільш справедливого миру для України. Я вже ж перемог. Хочу вам подякувати за ваші героїчні операції, як в тилу ворога, так і при захисті і деокупації наших територій, наших міст, сіл. І нагадати всім, і починаючи, починаючи від захисту ДАПа в 14-му році, потім і Гостомелі, Херсонщина, і операція на Харківщині. Хочу вам за це все подякувати. Бережіть, будь ласка, себе. Сьогодні ви на цьому напрямку. Він, напевно, один з найскладніших. Вся країна на вас розраховує. Ми точно переможемо. Слава Україні! Героям слава! Доброго дня!
Точно, счастье. Вы бачите, наша влада...